hour. My coffee is still at an absurd temperature. It is scorching hard. hot. Weird. I should just buy ice cubes for you. What's wrong? Hey, can we yeah. get a cool down for Andre's yeah, coffee? <laughs> I need a large double double and a cup of ice for my pregnant co pilot. You know what I had to do last night? Eat warm milk and Cheetos? No, no, no. My wife said to me, I want subs. I'm like, I know what that means. You know what that means? Driving to Niagara Falls to go to Viola's. Stop. I drove to the falls last night to get Viola subs for the wife. Wow. That's true love, folks. That is true love. Did you get one? I did. It's not true love. It was good. No, it's not true love. It was good. It's not. It wasn't twelve dollars good. It's not. It was good. It's not true love. I'm gonna argue this. This is a hill I'm gonna die on. If it's not true on, love because I got one. Yeah. Sounds if good. I make coffee in the morning, yeah. And I drink some of it. I didn't really make it for you then, did I? I. The if only you reason you go to get subs and you eat one of them. Technically, you didn't do it all for her. So the expectation is it's only true love if I drive to Viola's to buy my wife a steak and cheese sub and I stop at Wendy's on the way home. Can't have true love without sacrifice. <laughs> Why do I feel like I just read that off the inside of like a Dove candy bar wrapper? You know, they always have the inspirational quotes on the inside of the Dove wrapper. bumper sticker in front of us. We said before, these guys are creatures of habit. Yeah. If they now, here's the one thing that's not happening this year that you brought up to me, that's happening next year. Right. What year is it? 2020. At the end of this year, what happens? Collective bargaining the agreement new CBA. comes back up. Right. So that is good. Oh, we know what happened the last wrinkle. time. We know what happened the last time. There oh, was the a work stoppage. Got destroyed. Well, that and there was the there was the work stoppage where there was no football, and then the players thought they you know were sticking it to the league by putting in veteran minimum salaries and you guys may not remember but the way that it used to be veteran players stuck around the league a long time they because did. you could pay them nothing Peanuts, yeah so and, they decided to implement a veteran minimum right which clubs in turn cut the veterans and end up trying to acquire draft picks which were cheaper right because the what the veterans were pissed that rookies were getting 50 60 million dollars a they year were. without ever playing without ever playing a snap the veterans were pissed about so said, that's it Put in a rookie wage scale so that way every draft payer, every draft pick is paid for the position they were drafted in. Good in theory, bad in practice because how many players are drafted every year? There's like 200, so there's plenty of ammo for a team to rebuild their roster just on drafted players that they control for nothing for four, four years. years. So you, yeah. you really good, stuck good it in the, theory, bad in practice. Yeah, you're stuck it to the veterans on that. Uh, yeah. We don't know if that's going to be something that's. Because uh, you can't increase the veteran minimum because they're not signing any of them anyway. Right. That's one. You can't lower the rookie wage scale any more than it is right no, now. It's pretty bargain basement as um, it is compared to the salary cap. Short of having a quota of veterans on your team. Yeah. You can't. No. You can't do that. To you, harken to an article buried on htagsports.com from like three years ago, the league does give credits if you sign veteran players to league minimum. The veteran league minimum, they count as a drafted player. But I'll I'll rewrite that article because that's okay. that's all. That's like if the I said, if vet, like just say for example, I'm I'm just I think I'm trying to remember the article. If you send a sign a veteran to a three million dollar deal, he gets paid like a like a third round draft pick. No, no, no. So what it is is if you sign a veteran to a league a veteran minimum deal, right? So every year they're in the league, their veteran minimum goes up. Yes. Right. So let's say they're in the league for six years and they're $1.2 million is their league minimum, which is totally legit. That's like a real possible number. Yeah. A, a league minimum for a six-year veteran could be $1.2 million. Okay. What they'll do is they'll say, okay, well, you paid them $1.2 million. Fine. We'll give you a $300,000 credit on your cap. So he only counts as $900,000. Okay. So that's what I mean. That works. I learned so much driving around with you. You don't learn how to drive. No. You can't roast me in the car if you're gonna roast me in the comments. It doesn't work that way. Pick your battles, bro. Uh, okay, Pick your we'll see how I edit this bad boy. <laughs>